Today, Electromaker is here at Hardware Pioneers 2023, and I'm with the man himself, Massimo from Arduino. Hi. <laughs> a, very, very, a very shy hi. Hi. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, so today, you're showing off some new products that Arduino has developed. Yeah, so mostly we are showing, since it's a more of like a professional event, yeah. we are showing mostly the Arduino Pro product line, which is designed for industrial applications. Mm. But we recently also released this board, which is like the new edition of our most popular classic board, which is the Arduino Uno. Yeah. But this is called the Arduino R4. So they're the fourth release of the board. And it's got a number of uh, interesting uh, improvement compared to the classic board. Fantastic. So could you start by going through the actual processor itself and how that's yeah. changed? So Arduino for many, many years had a lot of products that were 8-bit microcontrollers. Yeah. And they're great, they're robust, uh, but in a way, you know, the market has evolved a lot and people want 32-bit, they want ARM processors. Mm. So we found this great processor, which is a a Cortex M4 ARM processor, which runs at five volts, which is not so easy to find. Five volts? Yeah, native. So you can reuse all of your ecosystem of Arduino shields, everything. It's plug and play because it's running at the right volts. And it's got a native USB interface. So this means that you don't need an external chip to give you the conversion between USB and serial like the older Arduinos. Mm. So you can do all sorts of interesting things like pretend it to be a keyboard or a mouse. Or yeah, of course. Whatever. Then in this particular version, we also have a Wi-Fi module. Mm -hmm. So this is an ESP32 uh, S3 Wi-Fi and Bluetooth module. We have this cute LED display matrix because people always want a, more than just one single LED blinking. And then we also added this uh, quick connector. This is a, it's a connector for sensor modules. Uh -huh. It's a, it's, I mean, the first company to make this was uh, Sparfun. So there's a big Sparfun. I've seen, I've seen, I've seen those modules. Yeah, I've seen those connectors, yeah. You connect, you daisy chain them. Yeah, yeah so we support that. Uh, yeah, there's also some interesting feature like this module here can actually be used as a debugger for the main processor, mm -hmm. which is a Resin SS. Cortex M4. So if you have the Arduino ID version 2.0, you can actually debug the code running on this processor, uh, which I think it was an extra feature that was quite mm. nice. And so this can be, it's a way more powerful than the regular Arduino. It's got a lot more features. The power supply now goes up to 24 volts, no problem. So you, so you can support a lot more industrial systems now? Yeah, if you have a 24 volts power supply, you can just plug it in and it works. Uh, so there's a lot of improvements that are not so, not so obvious, but it's packed with new things. Now, one thing that I have that's kind of interesting me a lot here is that you've got the, the ESP32 and the new microcontroller. Now, early on in our conversation, we were talking about you use this to send 80 commands to connect to the network. But then you said that there are people out there who have already tried to find ways of programming the ESP32 on its own. Yeah, basically, the, um, they, they already published some articles on how to program these two devices independently because this device here, the Renesas, has very good analog inputs. It has, uh, it, it, there, is an, there is even an op, uh, op amp that you can connect to your analog inputs so you can process the signals. It's got CAN bus, it's got a bunch of other things. CAN bus and an op amp? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This uh, board supports CAN bus. You just need a transceiver yeah. and you can do CAN bus. So some people thought, why don't we reprogram the board so that we run some more connected features on this one and then we run some I.O. on this one. So there are now articles that have been published by the community to do this. Now, is, has this been released yet to distributors or is this still in the works? No, no, this has been released to the distributors so people can buy it. Uh, people have been buying it a lot. So yeah, it, uh, it's already out of stock in some uh, shops. Oh, it's another one of those Raspberry Pi moments where every, no one can get them for like absolutely ages. No, no, no. No, we are lucky because we have a very direct relationship with Renesas mm. and Espressif. Yeah. So we're not going to have problems with uh, supply, which has been a problem in the last 
three years, I would say. COVID, yeah. Some suppliers basically have been unable to keep up with the demand. And so, but with this, this board is not going to have that problem. Brilliant. Now, just before we wrap up this video, uh, if someone out there who's watching this video wants to uh, get involved with this, uh, the Arduino uh, R4, what would you recommend? Well, at the moment, um, the, we have two versions. One which are just has this processor here, so it's called, it's a minimal version. So for people who want to, you know, save some money, but I would recommend you recommend you get this one. Did you get the one? Because you also get the debugger, you get all these features, and I think it's a very nice way to get into microcontrollers because you get. Uh, a, an ARM microcontroller here, so you can really learn about the ARM architecture and it's quite sophisticated and powerful. But you can also get the Wi Fi and Bluetooth, so I think it's an interesting combination of features. And so, even though it's targeted as, as a more industrial uh, product, it still has that educational aspect. It, I mean, the Arduino Uno will always be your kind of on ramp to get into microcontrollers. It will always be a platform that, even if you're not in school, even if you're at home and you say, oh, I would love to learn how to program microcontroller, you should get an Arduino Uno R4 because you get the ease of use of Arduino, but you get way more feature and power. Well, all I can say is thank you ever so much for taking the time to meet us today. Thank you. And for those watching out there, if you want to get more information on the uh, Arduino uh, Uno R4, check the link in the description.